Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. When was the last time you heard the word fool? That person's a fool. You know, in our culture, it's good that we try to be kind to people. And the word fool can sound like it's just a name or it's a, some kind of, you know, mean accusation of a person. But when you read the book of Proverbs, a fool uh, is really more of an objective thing. It's not something that you don't call someone a fool just because you don't like them. You and I can be a fool or we can be a wise person. It's one or the other. And whether we are a fool or a wise person really is the result of our choices. I have in me the capacity to be a fool every day of my life. And there's many moments where I have been a fool. And I think we need to live with a humility and awareness that apart from the word of God guiding us and apart from the spirit of God within us, we will often make foolish choices. God wants something better for you. And so today, God says this. It's a really interesting verse, verse 6. Trusting a fool to convey a message. So you've got something important, let's say in your family or in your work, and you're going to say, uh, hey, Jimmy, will you pass this message along? Well, if Jimmy's a fool by his lifestyle, then you choose to entrust him that responsibility to him, listen to the second half of the verse. It's like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. Now, here's what's interesting. The Word of God teaches that we, we love all people in Christ. And uh, many people say, well, judge not lest you be judged. So we shouldn't ever judge anyone. But actually, when you read the book of Proverbs, it's assuming that the people you work with, the people in your family, you are kind of monitoring, and most importantly, yourself. Is this person a person who makes wise choices or foolish choices? And if it's a person who makes foolish choices, I'm not going to promote them or I'm not going to give them the responsibility. If it's a person in my family and they're making foolish choices, I'm going to try to lead them to make wise choices, but I'm not going to entrust them with extra money or other things because they have a track record of making foolish choices. So here's the question. If someone works with you, or is in your family, would they objectively look at you and say, hmm, she usually makes wise choices or she usually makes foolish choices? If you want to be the person who is known for making wise choices, well, keep reading the book of Proverbs and invite God to make you a wise person, a person of wisdom. Lord, protect us from being fools. May that be our prayer today. I'll see you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.